Welcome back to the 25 days of Christmas. If you want to see how I use these materials to turn your huge pans from Give Me Glow to this, then just keep watching. Hi, I'm Kendra Morgan Official and today we're going to be showing you how to cookie cutter repress a pan so that you can get your big shadows like this one into a 26 millimeter one. Hello. Okay. All right, you'll have to bear with me. I'm trying to do this as easily as I can. It's not really working though. To get started, you'll need some materials. So I have a pen. Um, these are some circular, so I've got some one inch pans here and then I've got my uh, these I believe are 37 millimeter pans so they hold about three grams of product and um, they're just kind of cumbersome to have for your palettes like this right here will hold four of these but it would hold nine 26 millimeter pans so we're gonna go ahead and try a cookie cutter recipe I am going to practice instead of using my $22 electric unicorn, which is, by the way, darling. Let me just show you. Look at that, that is so pretty. It's kind of hard to see the shifts because I've got all the lights on. But I am planning to go ahead and repan it using the cookie cutter method. So just really quickly here, hopefully that's not messing anything up. I'm gonna take this and grab one of these sheets right here and I've got a couple different methods you can just type in or just write the word glamorous you can do glamorous and then the brand's name in um, all lowercase or like what I chose is to type the name of it in capital letters and then smaller um, give me glow or just the abbreviation so I'm going to stick this on the back of the pan and then for the cookie cutter method, I'm gonna grab that, place it upside down over the top of my pan, in kind of towards the side of the pan, and then just go ahead and press it down. Did you see that, how it just cut it out there like a cookie cutter, basically? Then I'm gonna spin it, or do my best to spin. Oops, and that's why we do this stuff on a nice little board here. All right. And then go ahead and grab it. And there you go, you've got one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lay some tissue paper over the top of it and just take my stamper and stamp it down just a little bit. And then grab all this, oopsie daisy. Put the remainder back in here and you can see I've got like probably two grams left of product so I'm going to also just kind of tamp that down and just smooth it back out I mean it doesn't hurt to have a backup or you know extra but definitely can um, you know use this now as a you know standardized pan All right and I'm back with my tissue paper and stamper so just placing the tissue paper over the top and gently tamping down the shadow. And this is slightly smaller, this tamper is slightly smaller than the pan, so just kind of wiggle it around and make sure that you catch the lip when you tamp it down. And there you go, you've got your 37 millimeter brought it down to a 26 so let's go ahead and try it one more time I have spritzed both the top of my electric unicorn from any swatching that I've done 
and I've also um, spritzed this as well and let it dry with alcohol just so that um, you know when you flip this over the top now becomes the bottom and you just want to make sure that there's no bacteria growth or anything like that that's allowed we're going to go ahead and take the electric unicorn label that I have chosen to write down and also I have different um, I don't know where you get the I think I got these at Walmart but they have different colors so you can always choose a different color for different brands you can you can do a lot of different things I was planning to do a video on how to create labels but I don't have that all sorted out yet so and I don't think I'll get it done before my 25 days of Christmas filming is up so again placing the cookie the smaller pan over the top pan acting like a cookie cutter I'm going to press in nice and firmly and this time I'm going to take this little tool I got at Hobby Lobby and just carefully pull this pan out see it all right you see that beautiful beautiful and I might just take and with a new piece of tissue paper let's make it dramatic here I guess I'm gonna grab my tamper and just gently slide it around and tamp into the pan and just get it just get it you know kind of pressed together a little bit more with this also you can just kind of take and you know tamp down a little bit so that you don't have to worry about having those edges come up and losing more product just kind of tamp it all down so then with this previous pan I am going to go ahead and tamp down moving from the outside edge in towards the middle just tamp it down all right and then you've got oh the sea daisy see how that this is one that's a little bit we're just going to let this product go it's not necessary we've got a backup and i'll just continue to press that down but there you have it now i've got standardized pans of gimme gimme glow shadows and that is the 25 days of christmas i believe this is day 14 so tomorrow's going to be an awesome episode if you haven't already subscribe down below I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Bye now.